A question I often get is, if I want to pay my own taxes and insurance, why do I have to pay a higher closing cost to do so? Now, I'll talk a little bit about when you have the option to pay taxes and insurance, and it's only on a conventional loan where the down payment is greater than 20%. At that level, your loan kind of falls into a lower risk category because of the equity position in the property. Even if you have 20% equity in the property, there still is an elevated level of risk to a lender to allow you to pay your own taxes and insurance. And I'll explain why that is. If you are paying the taxes or you are paying the insurance, the lender now is exposing themselves to a little bit more risk of delinquent taxes, which be a tax lien on the property, or perhaps their collateral being uninsured. Those are two risk factors that a lender wants to mitigate, and to do that, they charge a one-time fee at the time of closing to offset that higher risk associated with you being the responsible party for taxes and insurance. What happens if taxes become delinquent, it becomes a lien against the property, and that lien will then jump in front of the lender's interest in your property in case of foreclosure. So for example, if you fail to pay your taxes, and let's say over the course of one or two years the taxes are delinquent and become a lien, we could have easily ten dollars to $15,000 of tax liens filed against your property. In the case of foreclosure now, that amount is paid out first before the lender gets to claim any remaining equity in the property. Now, how You can now see how that would impair a lender's equity position and potentially uh, affect their ability to recover all the loss in the case of foreclosure. Similarly, if you fail to pay the insurance policy, now the lender's collateral is exposed to loss. And if there is a fire or other catastrophic event, their collateral now uh, has lost complete value and they wouldn't be able to recover any loss if they needed to foreclose on the property. So while you have the option to pay taxes and insurance if you have a greater than 20% down payment, know that there is a little bit more risk to the lender and to offset that risk, they do charge a one-time fee at closing to compensate for that risk. Hope that helps explain a little bit why it costs a little more upfront to pay your own taxes and insurance, but you do have that option, and that is an option that many, many of my, my clients will elect to pursue.